Uh, so it's uh, the Warlock with a very logical, calm video for a change. My God, it's like one day and a few hours. It's early morning, Tuesday, back on the chain. I wish I was going to work. <laughs> wish I could even... Some people now, I don't want to say who told me. <laughs> some, I, I, I don't want to say if I talked to someone that I hadn't spoken in a long, long time from high school. And he said, hey... What are you doing? Are you working? This, that. Yes, I'm working on the, trying to buy water and bread without getting my last, uh, whatever, KGB attack. And yeah, so that's it. So the video today is going to be mostly, and I today I got distracted because I picked up the phone and I always see some text. Is that because I don't have my own camera and computer that are separate from my phone. That's how you know I don't have a great budget. And nowadays, uh, companies... Uh, they, they don't give credit cards to everybody, the, the big companies, but phone companies, if they see you pay your bill, oh, they'll, they'll, they'll uh, give you a good phone because they know you're going to pay it because they, they charge you a little bit at a time, but you still get... So that's the sad part. I only have a smartphone or two or three, or I used to have three, and with time I got rid of some. Uh, the battery, that's what I hate the most is the battery. The battery starts dying after two, three years, that best three, four years, uh, cell phones, as we all know, I'm, you know, I, you're, if you're watching this, most people, even the people that are not rich are saying, yeah, tell me something I don't know. Okay, so I am going to tell you something I, I, I don't know myself for sure which one. So I've been doing a lot of I was into that vibe, and, and it's almost like when you get a new car, or you get, not, how would I know about that? Or let's say, in my case, a new video game, even though it's a video game from 20, 15 years ago. For me, it's a new video game because I never played it, or I never, you know, whatever. I played it on and off, or I haven't played it in a while. Uh, or something like the Thor game. Oh, that's amazing. And like I said, coincidence, I found even a toy hammer that uh, reminded me of that game, and it was fun to play. Uh, we... And a lot of people believe life is partially a game. Shakespeare, we're all, look at his words. And But uh, today it's not about theories, about uh, supernatural or really natural powers that are hidden and the government wants to keep hidden, like secrets on ESP, secrets on aliens, which are coming out now, the ones on aliens, and the one on, on ESP, they're out, but nobody believes them. It's like the CIA is saying, look, look, this is the re so we did do that. We did experiment on people, um, whatever, M MK Ultra in Canada, I think, or something. But people just don't get it that governments are not as good-hearted. You think, I wanted to find out this way, that if I would have bugged the police too much, that young gentleman, uh, he goes, don't bug the, the secret police, don't, don't film them. The, it's not, you're going to get yourself a whole big trouble. How did he know? Why was he so confident to say that? If you see my video with the ambulance tech helping me, you actually see the guy saying, don't, don't film. So I keep making mistakes, police, but you don't warn me at all. Well, when you called, at least you called, but now you know that you, you probably are uncomfortable calling me. So, because now I have no choice but to say this, because how my arm feels, and it's three times that a nice gentleman, whether they have hair or not, it doesn't have to be someone that look or could have been a wig. Somebody with a big hockey bag at about close to one in the morning, what is he doing on a bus? And he got off, like he stayed exactly, I'd say, 7 to 12 minutes on the bus. I didn't time it. So even when I started feeling itchy, it's the same dilemma. Police, what do I do? Do I follow him and say, sir, uh, my arm feels very itchy and uh, it burns. And it's, it didn't burn that much and itch that much the, la the first 10 minutes, obviously. But I don't want to say too much. See, I've already said too much because they could always twist it again. What is he going to do? Is he going to go, oh, are you going to go ask somebody that hit you with a bag? What do they have in that bag that's so heavy that freaking your armor? Oh, I think police, I think that you don't have to worry about someone's mental health if they ask someone why they bumped them with their bag. Huh? Some people have a fight with less. Just that someone's like even saying excuse me and sort of when there's a lot of people. And again, there wasn't a lot of people. And this guy smashes. I, I, I could have had a bruise. It was like a nice... I heard thunk on my arm. I go, what the hell? And I had clothes. Like, I mean, I wasn't... Uh, because it was a bit hot the, uh, the other day. But it's not about that. It's about... I am not like 90 or 95% sure or 98% sure. I am like 100% sure. And if there's could be a number that makes you think that I'm more sure that that was a KGB type attack, 
by the Montreal police because nobody that I know, nobody I insulted, nobody that I owe money to, at least that I insulted directly, just by not having coffee with someone, I don't think is the biggest crime, right, Mr. P something? So this is the idea that people get mad for nothing, for not doing what they say, just like government is there. Government is so much in harmony with the problems I had in my building that of course they got along and they got together and now they're on paper, <laughs> meaning I could contest, I could, or no, I can't contest what, what's been done, but I could make complaints about what's been done, but I don't want to do that. Like I said, call me a materialist, call me a fearful person. I don't care what you call me, just stop attacking me. But the more I say it, it's like a kid, don't do that, but they're going to do exactly what you tell them not to do. So it's sad that I knew that I used to call on the phone for things that were a little bit, uh, I don't know, I don't want to give details because, again, I've already triggered enough people. But, uh, well, we know why the police got mad at me, obviously, and if I repeat, it's gonna, it's like saying, what do I do to stop being physically... It, it now, the, why am I doing this video? Why do you think? My arm is three times, three places that it really doesn't go away, the pain and the nerve endings. The one on the right went away a little bit, the one that I got with the paper, but there was a bruise for a while. That could have been mostly because the last one I got, I noticed there was no parasitic uh, itchiness or this, that. They could add it in, obviously, but it was like mostly hot, chemicalish burning. It's like somebody injected me with some kind of chemical some kind of formula, some kind of uh, drug. I don't know what it was. And I'm, I know that I, now today, but never mind the other feelings, uh, the feelings, it's not feelings. It's like, actually, since I've been getting these uh, attacks that I haven't been able to stretch and even other people on the internet. And when I mentioned that one video got erased and I got blocked, so I can't even say the theory is what I think. It, because obviously, if the police puts parasites, like I said, I could imagine, because I mentioned that in the video and they put that. Now, there's other things I mentioned in the video which I got in trouble, so I won't say what it is, and I don't even want to tell you to investigate that, because that, by everything, the algorithms and the evil people uh, analyzing my videos to make trouble for me, because that's all I'm seeing. And that's why I keep saying, if there is a karma, I'll hopefully, now I'm starting to wish, not only for my, well, for my sake, I don't know. I felt bad. See, and it's funny that what a coincidence, though. So is some people getting mad? I, I know the part where I said a certain thing, earthquakes, uh, police. Oh, I don't want to say that. Obviously, I shouldn't have said that because it's not necessary. Because just say, but that's me being triggered, police. It's like the other day. I wasn't, I wasn't like word wise. I wasn't, but I was fed up because I was sick. Uh, it's like sometimes it alternates days. My arm, sometimes I can't even move it now because it's twice on the arm that people smiled at me and then it was SDM. It's like either they did it on my left hand or it's like there's always some kind of cop or SDM or some other kind. There's, there's never that I've seen someone on the bus or metro attack me with these, like on the, on the right arm is perfect. Twi uh, on my right arm, twice on the bus and once in the metro. <laughs> And this is like, it's not like even like my hand, you see still a little bit of blemish. That was from a car, but imagine how powerful the products they're putting in me. Could it be good for my health? Not really. Hold on, I'm going to do a little drawing. I don't know, I had it clear in my head. See, I drew this while I paused. It's like different, it's like, it's about, I'd say 50 to 70 times that I got, maybe more, maybe much more. Uh, injections or some kind of things that entered my body. <laughs> so even though it's a small dose and it's not something lethal, chances are it's either, like I, I put here, parasites, parasites with some kind of irritant or chemical. See, I'm putting stupid. It's just to give you an idea. Then what will it do? Will it build up in time? And the way I've been feeling symptoms. Now here we're going to go with symptoms. I'm not going to write the whole word because I thought this thing was easier. But this mostly to draw, not to write detail. Uh, so symptoms. And these are uh, theories on what it is. I'm just doing this to organize my thoughts. So these are theories. Parasites, parasites with some kind of product. Is it to 
again, let's put another thing here. To kill me, short term, long run, please, if I'm saying it, it's because, <laughs> hey, for, for you got triggered just by me recording and asking for help. So imagine now that I'm putting videos and I'm saying, <laughs> even though it's not threats, it's still saying like, I wish God does something about it. It's wrong, maybe to your point of view, but... I don't know if you're the intelligence of people hurting me, they put themselves in. Oh, and yeah, also, let's go down here. These are symptoms. This, one of the symptoms is getting accused of being crazy. Imagine how that feels. If people knew how I felt, never mind if you ha ever got accused of stealing something and didn't, or uh, copying in class, or never mind someone that's watching this that knows someone that knows someone that got put in prison even for a few years and did nothing wrong. But things like this... What I'm, what I'm going through, you don't know. Asking from help to having attacks on your body with parasites and then being associated with... And I have nothing against people that imagine things or have meant... But the feeling, if I was still triggered, meaning if I was still human or hateful, not that I ever was, but I was like momentarily with the vibe of like, ah, that's wrong, like... Obviously, as the SDM officer saw me that I said, no, it's not normal. You're in the same metro car or maybe half a metro car more far away from me. They're not going to because they knew that this product would. Uh, what would they think that I would say something? It's like, but I, I don't know if they knew or not, but that's because sometimes they just have foot soldiers that they send there. I didn't feel extra itchy around those things because sometimes even being like I said, it doesn't matter the distance. I get, I feel itchy and sometimes police smile to confirm that they're doing it. Now they haven't done that in a while, but because I don't know, you figure it out why. I, I don't seem to try to understand the limited logic and idea like what's it worth to them to torture me and maybe even put me to death in a slow way or in a torturous way it's 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 disgusting obviously but i'm confirming right now without a doubt that it's happening the part about me dying i don't know when i'm gonna die and that's the thing even psychics don't know or uh, oh well, wait a minute some people have a clear idea like people say abraham lincoln had a, a dream that he would be assassinated is it Lincoln? yeah i think uh, the american history but we, we see so much on tv that we know more than the canadian one practically so but that's the thing is the thing on dreams explain that. And especially the one that that girl says, don't take the plane, it's going to fall. People, yeah, yeah, it's okay. You're fearful because the plane is not always up to speed. It has little, you know, little screws loose like we see now with the boing, boing planes. And it's not nice to make fun because it's complicated to keep a plane floating. It's complicated for the police to feel powerful if they're not in their spiritual power so not only are you proving to me you're not in your real strength you're in your bossy bully dictatorship type why am i not surprised obviously if someone thinks they need a gun to enforce the law that means people are not learning spirituality in school because if there was ways that canada says we're the best country they said that recently oh yeah and if canada was the best country we would not need... Yeah, people are apologetic, but we don't know why. There's reasons for that. I don't know. But we wouldn't need policing. We wouldn't need the military. The military is there to make money, not to enforce uh, protection. Because I, I don't think Canada or the USA, from what I've seen, we're not in any immediate physical danger of being conquered by the elites, yes. <laughs> by corruptive process of thought, yes. Every time I see Seinfeld again, I see that thing. This has been uh, done, this comedy, before this time. And they have to explain everything for someone saying a joke. And they're even respectful. They were saying some things. Uh, I don't want to go there. Because everything you say now could be twisted to saying it's not politically correct. It's like, it's like everything is about... And then they don't even help the people they say to help. If you And even some people of that nationality or of that gender say, no, the government is pretending. The ones that are smart enough to notice... It's like me. It would, it, 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 look, the fact that I'm Jewish and I take no sides, either one or the other, I'm not mad that the Jewish people got triggered into being a little overboard because from their point of view, it's sad. If, if somebody attacks someone, it doesn't matter if that person is being... It's like me now. Oh, I'm saying all these horrible things at the police. Did I ever hint? Even in the past when I was like making emotionally and, I was, and it was affecting my... I have to admit, it was affecting uh, not my judgment or my uh, 
my fight or flight, yeah, because I was a little bit like scared that I wouldn't be able to express. Like now, I waited till I was a bit like saying, no, I have to accept that I know I challenged the police and death is there. It's just like physically, if you start moving around and uh, being a little dangerous in front of what you might get pepper spray, you might get slammed to the floor like, or you might get shot if they think their life is a danger or if they... Can I say it? Pretend they think. How many times is they say, oh, but if you, uh, the person could have mental problems. How many times did they shoot a person that, unlike me, had real mental problems? I'm presuming because with me, they could be one of the first that they know for sure I won't do any physical act. <clears throat> hey, they've been attacking me. Like I said, I calculated now maybe about 70 times. And these are attacks that it's like, it's like saying I was trying to make a video the other day. If someone comes close to you and you tend to suspect by their eyes or you you've gotten stabbed before so now you're going to be careful for someone stabbing you you're going to do some kind of protection or some kind of even a bit violent way to get that person not to attack you with the knife so it's the same thing me right now i if people see it and that's why i think they brought me to psychiatry because their point of view is we don't give a shit that that he's totally right we, but we're just going to pretend, so we're going to make sure that he's so scared to even defend himself. That's not going to work anymore. Like I said, I will do anything to defend my body, where I live. And, and the idea that I have to wear now armor, armor as best as I could, because I can't afford real armor, and then when it's hot. And because when I'm dressed with things of like plastic, different layers, unless they use something very powerful, something like a, like a real weapon that there's going to be whole... And even then, no matter what proof I get, what I'm trying to tell people is whatever they step up, whatever symptoms I get, people are going to say, okay, so there's a lot of vehicles on his channel that are of the... Okay, so he has marks on his body. But to say the police would actually follow him and then even attack him. No. No. I don't know. There was something funny. in this. So just to say, how impossible is it? Stepping from one to the other, knowing that the police is triggered, knowing I could show you videos. Should I put them on the internet? No, that's going to bother them even more. The ones that I have from the original reason why they were mad, the recordings with the call, the recordings with the, with the whatever. Uh, it's just so horrible what I'm going through. There's, at some points, I do get sad and a bit frightened, and, but not frightened like in a sense that I say, is it my fault? And it's like they're trying to make it my fault that they're offended because I'm reporting that they're following me and attacking me. So now they're stepping up the product to be more like the one that, I don't want to say what could be in it, but who knows when they felt different colds or different uh, extras that they feel like needles and numbness all over their body. It could be a lot of things. Like I said, now the weather change, it could be a virus that's making me weak and... And I'm hoping it's that. I don't want to get sick from uh, whatever. And I have a bit of COVID f symptoms. You guys figure it out. Like prickly sensations all over. It's like sometimes my, all, all my legs got numb the other day for no reason. I was sitting down and I wasn't even sitting down too long. And I, I hardly felt. So to say, am I angry? I expected this. So I, But the thing is, why do they keep? up and personal is it because now I, I was a bit more dramatic with the karma and then I saw on TV to show you that I think how often do you see on TV uh, police marching for cancer or doing not marching and not marching like the army pedaling for cancer with their bikes it was something silly I think it was from Toronto because obviously it, it, it's the idea that it happened so much after I put that video so it's like could be a quit but again coincidence could be a quit there is no coincidence, even if it's a message from me by real destiny, or it's like the electricity. Is it a coincidence? I made a lot of assumptions, extrapolations, but can you blame me? Like I said, technically, I know when somebody calls, oh yeah, now it's almost a whole day, or it's almost two days now, we have no power, or sometimes it goes up to a day. And that's when it was the ice storm, sure. Now it could be a regular power outage that goes on and off, but it goes on and off within minutes. Not uh, an hour. And when it's an hour, usually it's more than an hour. Not that I wanted it to be longer. Like I said, I would lose food that I already had a hard time buying. And, and now I had to make so much purchases because even used uh, garments to protect every... It's like summer and I have to wear garments to... Because how do I know? 
because it works. When I'm covered totally, I don't get these symptoms. <laughs> Itchiness or burning or dizzy or sick. Just I can't explain all the symptoms and I don't want to. The whole point I'm saying is that, like I said in some other videos, I don't know how long I have. Because it's a possibility that I'll pass away. And trust me, if I pass away now, because in some ways I feel healthier and in some ways I feel worse than I felt. It's like the parts of my body that there's these things, the ones that were recent, this is over a year, this has stopped hurting. But every other little thing that I showed you on my arm here, on my right elbow, on my right shoulder, it's like hurting so much that it, it's not like the pain is is intense it's like goes deep deep and it feels like like an inflammation exactly like certain other symptoms that i can't say come from certain other medical procedures that's all i'll say but it doesn't matter whether i could prove it or not this is not going against any uh, algorithm or policies on it's just saying can i say how i'm feeling that it has weird sensations like some kind of medical product so parasites they told me i was crazy that i'm and it's on paper i could show you but is it crazy if you feel itchy and you don't think it's mosquito or you're near parasites so it shouldn't be that they enter your your skin and go deep under your body that there's red marks and then the, they bubble up into like little like when you see little uh, mosquito bites like all little bumps and inflamed so i've had that now for a year over a year almost every day especially when i go out without garments and now even when i'm protected the, the little spot that they could get me they get me so when they bump into me if they know i have sweaters and that even when it's hot it's so it's i pet et repet i don't feel like repeating and making this video but if i don't make enough that give the possibility of me dying then that means my my death if it has to happen i hope it has some kind of I don't want a revolution. Like, see, I'm saying no, but it doesn't mean it's a no. You know, when you say, no, no, don't give me the gift. No, it's not in that way. But I want people to remember me if I pass away, that my death was not a natural one or it was not even a natural one from what's going around in the air and the natural pollution. And I'm guaranteeing you my health got worse because of these therapies that they're giving me, forced therapies, just like, I say, even though it didn't happen often and it maybe didn't hurt my health in the hospital, the medication they gave me, giving someone something that they don't ask for and they don't permit is wrong, police and governments, because, you know, I don't want to go into other theories about other things that happened during the pandemic and that were some people believe, be, 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 I don't want to say the word. So this is what I mean is governments pres are presumptuous into thinking that they have the right to invade our body. That's what police are doing. Every time you're near me, legally, or at least spiritually and morally, I should have the right to do whatever I can to you or anybody you send near my body. I'm not saying I'm intending to, but I'm going to try my best to put something on to protect myself. It's silly that we, we've come to the point that I'm saying my life is going to pass away and you're the cause of it and you think it's wrong of me to say do you expect bad karma? Do you think it's impossible that there is some kind of law out there that's more exerted, that's more precise than yours? The same laws that make the planets work? If they're connected to our mind and our thoughts, our energies, our emotions, the way science, quantum science is starting to prove day after day, scientists are coming out of the closet like the gay and lesbian uh, community lgbt whatever they said it themselves they go we're coming out because we were scared to be spiritual we were scared to be holistic we were scared to include the individual the tiny civilian that has to be so attacked if they even question police and government this is not a world this is not canada the best country this is canada the worst one and they were even admitting it on TV the other day. They were showing that people in some kind of third world country or a place like South America, they were fighting the Canadian mines. They were actually doing, they were saying, oh, you're from Canada, so we don't want to talk to you. So it's like Canada is considered a monstrous dictatorship all over the world. Even on the news, they admit it, because even though they're against those people saying that Canada is so 
do you think all is, uh, Jewish people agree with the policies of Israel right now? I don't think so. I don't agree with the laws in Canada right now. Even if Paulier was in power, I don't care who's in power. Everything that's been structured could not have happened if the corruption, corruption went beyond the rules. The police didn't have to target me. You don't have to even feel offended. Even if I do something, my God, that was against the law. But I am not. But I would be justified by your terrible actions towards me, police. Anything I would do from your freaking trigger point, from my laws, no, I'm not allowed, even if I could get away with it. That's why I'm saying it on the internet, that my intent is always to find a peaceful, non-violent way. But to what point now, after 70, about 70 attacks, am I going to say it doesn't matter if it only one or two, like a bit of roughing up from the police and the STM that you see it on video that I'm, well, not the one with the police, the one with the, the STM. You actually see me saying, why are you trying to grab me when I am just, I'm, go, I'm going, you know, like leave me alone, stop flashing the light and grabbing my hands. And, and that was the first attack. But the other ones, you, you saw that that, may have looked bad if somebody else would have filmed even if i wouldn't have been able to film like i did in a sneaky way with the camera then so now you know you're killing me i'm saying it on the internet i do feel deteriorate maybe it's i have to admit maybe it's a virus that killed it's like saying maybe all those vehicles around me right are a coincidence hmm you know that uh, the the sign that says hmm that the the, the emoji thinks I put that a lot because I'm trying to make people think. What are the odds that these marks on my body are not from police or somebody that the police sends around me? And what are the odds that it all started when I, uh, I think I didn't say it yet when the STM grabbed my hand, but that was the first one that I thought it was even a chip. But then when I started seeing the itchiness, I go, that's not a chip, even if a chip would, and I don't know if they put two and two together, I meaning if they put more than one product, like now, I, 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 I thought it would be itching, but no, it was burning and like a hot chemical liquid in my... Imagine you knowing that you know you're sure of what your body felt. You're sure the guy, if you stare at someone, they feel it. Trust me. And try staring at someone on the bus. You're going to see sooner or later they're going to... That guy did not... And at one point I was about to get up and not to do anything, but just to say, you know, sir... Uh, well, what do you have in that bag? Because you bumped me before and my arm is freaking hurting. So something like that, police, I have the right. Is it, But th then again, you could twist any word and say I'm dangerous. Of course, you're always making other people to be dangerous. But then again, you're covering up your crimes and that you're the dangerous people. You shouldn't be owning guns. You shouldn't have the right to follow people. You shouldn't have the right to spy on people unless it's voted upon by an assembly of elders, spiritual people, good people. If people in government now and police weren't triggered like babies just because someone asked for help and records and is worried, that's not enough. That shouldn't trigger you. It, it, governments right now over a bit of territory, you're sending billions of dollars of weapons, making people starve on the street, inviting people from more torn countries, which some of them you caused, my dear Canada and U.S. And then you're, you're pretending now, oh, we're not going to jail him forever. We're going to free Julian Assange. Why? Because I mentioned them? Just like when my brother said, you think you're important enough for the police to follow you? Sure I am. I'm important enough of a pain, not important enough for, my, for them to take care of my health, which that's the law. Where I asked for help, and I don't want to say all the places, the hospital, the housing, should have been help, not punishment. <laughs> Right now, I shouldn't be worried about saying how am, I, how am I going to protect myself because it's not my job to go out and be in like in a war zone. I did not threaten anybody. I did not attack anybody. I did not even participate in a demonstration since the pandemic when it was too much that I couldn't even go shopping for food. Come on. Until the government, it, if the police would have not, I probably would have put a few and then I would have taken them out if it would have been, I, I don't know what I would have done because maybe I, that now, because you punished me so much, I said, okay, at least stop attacking me physically. I'll take out all the videos, even the ones that show that you're just following me. But you have the gall, the disgusted mood that you don't want me even to talk about it with friends. And, and now you're presuming or either, even if you're not, you think you're what? You're going to keep on torturing me and I'm going to shut up about it? 
I know I'm going to die either way. So why would I shut up? It doesn't even make sense what you're doing. Why would I shut up about it now, police? What is my incentive to take out my videos? But you probably don't care. This makes me think of who saw the movie. Uh, I forgot what it was called. If it was, uh, there was a laser. There was a guy. He goes, uh, <laughs> this is what I think the police is giving me the message. Now when, the, when James Bond goes, I forgot the, the details. The laser is coming. So now you expect me to talk? He goes, no, uh, no, uh, Bond. I expect you to die. <laughs> Two fools who laugh at death. <laughs> What else can I do but laugh? Why? Let's just say, I said it as a joke, but let's just say that's the, the protocol now that they're going to kill me one way or another. Obviously, they're not going to do it in a way like with a gun in front of a hundred people. No, they're not stupid that much. They're stupid enough to get triggered and to risk karma because they know the evidence is there. Maybe not karma so much with the CIA, but if that exists, telepathy and target police, what makes you so sure there is no karma? And, and I'm not enjoying it because that's why you're going to probably get it. So keep on doing it. Kill me in whatever way, torturous way or sneaky way. But this is me. I'm not pleading for my life in this video. Well, part of me maybe is because I'm just curious to see how much I can heal this broken down, abused, tortured, already with a rare disease, already not able to work, already not able to handle a cold. I can't even socialize because I get allergic to so much Things that are in the environment that, like, I, people say, hey, uh, COVID is not that bad. Why are you wearing a mask? It's just that I am sensitive to so many things, bugs, viruses, bacteria. And I'm suspecting so much worse now in these injections. Since I did talk about that, I sh it's not that I should or not. It's like they say, ha-ha. It almost makes me think of some uh, the Hulk when there's the father that they're, they're elect and then they electrocute him. The more he said, oh, yeah, what? Well, do it. You know, and, they, and they go, boom, do it. Like, the more you ask for something not to be done, the more they do it. <laughs> it's like, it's like a torture. It's like, again, the best thing I could show you is that the James Bond, you expect me to talk? Like, no, uh, you expect me to compromise? You're not calling me and saying what compromise you want. No, I, they expect me just to suffer and die. Or maybe they think, at best, at best, and it's not best because it still ends up with me either. Because now, let's say, and of course, I didn't do this video in the moments I felt sick, obviously. Because then even if they don't say they're worried about me mentally, they all say, well, look, uh, you probably caught a virus. I know you're scared. You saw us checking on you. See, I'm already seeing because a good person, an intelligent, intuitive, spiritual person could see the point of view. They, they could lower themselves. And it's not lower because I think I'm better. I just worked on being more reasonable. They could put themselves into the, the bullies type attitude that's very basic, instinctual, fear control and manipulation. That's all it is. There's nothing sacred. There's nothing deep. There's nothing harmonious there. It's just is what it is. Scheming and disgusted evil. That's what it is. And even though deep side... Inside every part of every person doing this to me is God. That's why I'm happy because why would I be sad? What's happening to me, if it's a crucible, if it's a, a way, at least that's why I'm doing the videos too. I don't want to die in vain. That's one thing at least that it doesn't make a big difference, but it does. And vibe wise, like I said, I, I don't believe if you see Stephen Greer, look at Stephen Greer, uh, Danica Patrick. Uh, the one at Warlock's uh, Superman's channel. He says, I told the, the general that he was saying, oh, you can't do that. You're not allowed researching aliens or investigate. And he goes, what? You're going to kill me? He goes, I'm more trouble to you dead. I, I don't want to prove that by actually being in that situation because, like I said, part of me, the human side of me is chicken shit. Not chicken shit, but just I don't want to. Who wants to? Anybody that says they enjoy pain and being tortured is stupid. Like, I don't want to say it in the movie. Yeah, like you saw, that, that's the difference. And I, and I love uh, the guy that did the Roadhouse. What's his name? Shit. Patrick uh, something. Patrick. So he goes, pain don't hurt in the movie. But in real life, when he was dying of cancer, he goes, oh, my God. You can see it in his face. It's suffering is suffering. Why is it called suffering? When someone says pain don't hurt, how could pain not hurt? Pain is there to remind you. That's why I said all the torture I'm feeling will be probably tripled. See, 
doesn't matter what you do to me, police. It does matter, yes, to my human side. I would take any bargain. See, that's how you know I'm being totally honest, people. That's how you know I did not imagine one little thing. Maybe I don't know exactly what product, if it's going to kill me soon or ever. No, I'm not sure that this... Maybe it's a virus that's making me feel sick. Maybe it's... Maybe it's just a chemical that irritates me to scare me. Maybe. Maybe the police really loves me. This is their hurt therapy. Soon they're going to send me a letter. We have a check for you for $2 million. You are forgiven. We love you. We know we did wrong. We should have just taken your plea for help and a bit of nervousness as what it was. Stress from the products and the environment that make you ill. That's a real utopian police. And I'm not saying you have to be that dramatic, but at least stop killing me. <laughs> it is funny because when something is true and dramatic and even in the negative side, it's still amazing that they're doing all this to put me down. All investing, all this thing. I don't know if it's... I have a feeling... Because if they shut down my phone, they could find a reason to say this guy is spreading disinformation. Why didn't they say that? Because they know it's, first of all, the video is there. <laughs> I could, and I don't know if they could have ways to erase all my memory cards. That I, and I've showed it to so many people. There's thousands of views, many thousands of views with all the different. So I don't know. I'm trying to figure out, you know, when they say uh, Tao meets a tongue. <laughs> I'm trying to be funny, but it's not to insult the, the, the language or... How could they think torturing me to this level and killing me is going to bring them peace or even legal or even public? Now, maybe that's the whole point. I said this before and pete repet, I'm repeating. By me passing the message and it not being them, they look innocent. Just like, we didn't do nothing wrong. Oh, look now, we're releasing Julian Assange. Duh, everybody's like noticing. If I had as many views as Julian Assange and the people had knowledge of my situation, hey, they would they would give me for real almost billions, right? Montreal mayor, right? Kadaf, uh, uh, Mc, McDuffie or uh, Maddy, uh, the, the, the guy that used to work for Laval, the police chief. We are all equal in our souls. And yes, you have to be an authority. And yes, that's how you're delegated. But do you have to be this abusive and torturous and killer instinct? on innocent civilians that ask you for help. help! <laughs> Just like my dear Sadhguru said in one of his videos that I comment, ain't it fun to laugh at everything? Because laughing is a way to really stress, yes. But I'm laughing because I find it funny. It's funny. It's funny when a whole city wants to murder you. <laughs> but do it and come out smelling like a flower. Look at that guy. We were worried about his mental health. We followed him because he, we thought he was dangerous. I'm sure that's what they put on their paper. If they put it on my papers, they have it in their paper. The lie has to be so much. That if we brainwash ourselves to believe in the lie, then if you believe it, it's not a lie. Just like I had this friend that really had certain problems. Some of my high school buddies may have met him a few times. And he came up to me once and then the police did come and took him away. He comes with a knife and he goes, you have an alien in your stomach. If I take it out with this knife, it's going to hurt you. So I might not. I said, no, it's not a good idea. I said, wait, wait a minute. I'm going to call your mom. We're going to talk about it. I locked myself in my apartment and I called the mother. And the mother goes, well, you call the police. I go, he's your son. I don't want them to rough him up. Come here. Like... Say the guy has, you know, mental problems. And she, talk about environmental pollution. This guy, and I'm not even hinting at what name he had. Uh, he told me before I knew how sick he was, because I met him because he was living close to where I was living when I was in my teens. So he told me, oh, my mom, you know, maybe that's why sometimes I'm weird. I have weird thoughts or like uh, weird emotions or weird moods. And I giggle a lot. I don't giggle for that. I was always in a not negative mood, but serious, even in funny situations. That's something to do with my uh, my glands and that environmental sensitivity that I build up toxins. And then even though I'm in nature, funny and positive, even like 10 years ago or 20 years ago, I couldn't express it too much because, ah, blah, 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 blah. Never mind. But he told me. It was totally different from him. It wasn't my, my tonsils, whatever caused me to be sick. But then he goes, well, my mom used to 
go out, not open the windows after she painted with oil paint. So you see how many things we did in the past, and even asbestos, they didn't check, or they, there was a channel that explained that they knew exactly that asbestos was toxic, but they kept it hidden to sell and sell and not have problems with that or have to modify it or replace it by something else. Because it's always a bit like gas. What are you going to do? You're making money on that. Weapons are meant to kill. It's like it's just like pesticides. It doesn't matter if you make them natural or not. If they're meant to kill, they're going to kill you in a natural way. <laughs> like I said... If I stab someone with a knife or shoot him with a gun in the head or the gut, or I take a pencil and put it through his brain, through his ear, what difference does it make, police? If your intent is to harm someone, you would have done it. I would have done it. That's why you did attack me, because you could do it and get away with it. You have something smaller than a pencil in my brain. You have things that go in my body and torture me and probably build up and kill me. Maybe I'm not sure. Maybe by me saying it now, then you're saying, hmm, we weren't planning on killing him, but no. It's very interesting. We could do it. We could get away with it. <laughs> so, police, I'm sorry if those kind of thoughts I'm extrapolating. I'm sorry if I don't agree with you that I'm imagining all this. Because I still don't think there's technology that you could put things in your brain and then produce them and make videos of police following you. Or serenading you, sirenating you. People, don't you find I found a nice word? Instead of serenading, sirenating. Come on, people, you have to put in the comments. So no, it's not funny. I know I'm trying to be dramatically brushing this away, but I am, part of me is saying, did my life have to end this way? And am I going to be in control after I leave my body? And am I going to be vengeful then? <laughs> Am I going to be ghosting people? <laughs> you know when they say, you're ghosting me. Well, I can guarantee you, police. I can guarantee you. I don't want to see other groups or people. That if I could, if my, my demise is, uh, if I'm sure my, my health deteriorates and I'm feeling sick. Now it's not deteriorating. Well, you might still say this is mental disease. I don't give up. Beep. But if I have to go... At least my human side says I wish to ghost you. But probably it's like when I meditate, I forget all these problems. I forget even if that, like I said, I even send love. Now I'm just like accepting that they're triggered and that they don't care if I care or forgive them or if they forgive me or not. They don't care about forgiving. They just care about passing the message. They're in power and we could crush, control you, torment you, kill you, and we could get away with it. Message received. Now, did you receive my message? Is it clear enough? Did the weather get smooth enough? Is the message of Thor coming through? No, it probably won't. Is the message of karma coming through? Probably not. But it still will reach you. When? I have no idea. If, if people knew, <laughs> it's just like me. Do I know when I'm going to die? But I know that my arm is... Like, again, I notice now that which arm I'm using. The one that's been tabashi, like it's been like, oh my God, did they work on this one like... It's almost like wrestling when they keep banging the same arm. And, and somebody else said on the internet that the arm that got beep it got beeped. I beeped myself. I censored myself not to get more strikes. Strikes, I don't even know. There's like not even one strike registered, but there's like, I don't know. It's disgusting. You can't express yourself. Can I express myself that they have these bubo on my body and that I see police? Can, am I allowed saying I videotape police? Why are they there? It's a natural occurring emergency. What did that STM officer say? What are you doing here? It's like, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? <laughs> so it's the same thing. Like, no, no, we're not looking for you. No, this needle is not for you, they told me in the hospital. But yet it was close to my butt, but it wasn't for me. It was, it was for my butt. So... I shouldn't have maybe bitched so much about the treatments in the hospital because at least they're a bit controlled and <laughs> they have to do some kind of... But now they're injecting whatever they F they want in me, no? Police, if, you're, if, if it's true that these coincidences are not coincidences and these marks on my body are done by you or somebody, you said, if it's true. I know it's true. Can I prove it, though, 100%? Probably not. But... Is there enough extrapolation and circumstantial evidence to say if the police are always up your beep? 
Chances are if you're getting funny marks on your body and they're smiling at you or there's someone weird next to you bumping into you and then you see marks on your body that, uh, like right now, I have to admit, it's not inflated or this, that. But my body feels it, the burning and itching or whatever. In this case, it's more burning and like, it's hard to explain. It's, it, it's, it's bad. And I hope it's a virus. But even if this was just a little, I don't know, saline solution. Are you, do you have the right to do that? I know I got injected with something. There was a needle mark, but it's so hard because, of, of course, it's not like we're not like in the 90s. Like, it's like a, right now, if you have some kind of surgery for the appendix, you don't have a big giant scar. I remember in the 70s, people used to show me their appendix scar. Wow, it was like somebody got a car accident and there's a metal part that went in their lower abdomen. Now when you see an appendix, you, you say, where? Right here, don't you see it? No, I don't see the scar because there is no scar. Because So imagine the gadgets that have high technology that are just supposed to inject because they know whatever they put in me doesn't have to be a lot. And it doesn't even have to show up. And doctors, even it, like right now, St. Mary's just told me, go to, go to the Jewish. <laughs> have they seen my videos? I, never mind that I'm part Jewish. That would be a score if I, if I even convinced them. Where's my proof that I'm a quarter Jewish? It doesn't matter. Well, the proof that if you could tell, ask anybody in my family, the proof that my mom almost got put on the train, that's partially proof that there's some kind of suspicion. Because they were so well organized that the prejudice was so... Just like me. Me is prejudice against me. I could be any nationality now. I dare defy the police. Wow. I dared insist. That is such a big crime, police. I have to admit, I deserve all this. Yeah, my crime is so, but so big. How dare I ask for help and record? Yes. Does anybody think of any bigger crime in the world than that? And I didn't even do it while I was conscious. It's like what's a, in the past people used to say, well, I was drunk. That's why I had the car accident. Nobody could give that excuse anymore. But see, now if I do that now, I say, oh, but... Uh, Police, I said this, I threatened this, but it's because the product. No, I know products make me sick. And I knew very well that I was being triggered by what they injected in me the day after when I was a little like, rah, 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 and I saw the police near me and I, <laughs> I didn't scream that much, but I was like, what the? But because you're committing a crime and then you're gloating. <laughs> we got you, we got you. It's, c'est pas correct. C'est pas correct. And there's no amount of proof. There's no amount of lawyers. Even if I'd win the lottery, there's no way I could ever get justice. And there's no way I could make this end. But I will end soon. <laughs> and everybody's just watching them. Hmm, look at that guy. I wonder, is that possible? No, look at the evidence. It's 100% possible. <laughs> it's 100% probable. So I love and forgive everybody, but it's getting, it's getting harder every day to forgive when my body cannot take these 70 or more injections and it's going to continue just like the vehicles used to continue to roam around me. And even the other day I was there, but I had my phone, so the police were like, but they didn't come too close. <laughs> Again. I'm not going to wonder why, but I just know that they're going to get me and keep on getting me. Is it worth it even trying a police to put some kind of clothes to protect myself? There's no way to protect myself from evil, not even with psychic powers, because the evil is so big on 3D, is so well ingrained in government. The puts, these personalities in the government and zins we control the government when they actually tell you. I'm telling you, I love you. So if we don't see the message when they actually tell you what they're going to do, control the government, so how can we think the government is run by democracy or by justice in any modicum when they actually tell you we want to control and we're putting people in the government that work for us, not for who you vote for? So it's disgusting that the crime is this big. I'll tell people, yeah, I'm spiritual and I'm a bit flamboyant and daring and courageous. Doesn't matter. Right now, I would take any cop out. I would cop out, cop out? <laughs> I would take any paper. Let me go. I'll sign in blood like a... No, but I wouldn't go as far as making a deal with the devil if he existed because I don't believe he exists. Hmm. I got to look into that. <laughs> Check my... Make a deal with the devil. Did anybody see... Uh, what's it called? That... Uh, not Punisher... Uh, 
the guy that rides on a motorcycle and he has a skeleton head and he's on fire. He's on fire! So, okay, enough jokes. Because the, the sad part is that it's not a joke what I'm feeling. And uh, I don't want to be getting these injections. Even if it's vitamin B12, it's illegal police. And even then you should do jail time. But how do I prove it? How do I prove it? Well, what proof do you need that you should stop doing it? I think that's a more relative question. Everybody hurting me and scheming in these illegal, immoral, technically monstrous ways. What do you need to see to make you stop? My phone is adjusting the battery because the battery dies after two seconds. Because they're old phones, old and gray like me. So maybe this is good for my health, 70 injections. Yes. I am healthier now, right? Uh, okay, I'm signing out. Look, he's deteriorating. Let's go get him and make sure he deteriorates faster and in the hospital and under our control. And we're going to put him down like a, a wounded dog. Yeah. So try more criminal activities. Stop. I would prefer that option. <laughs> I'm just so curious uh, if I could survive what I've been through so far. Never mind the attacks. But even before, I was thinking I was going to die with COVID and other things in the environment. So, police, you're just making sure that I go that way, right? Well, good luck to your life, to your family, to your kids, your grandkids, to all the officers, all the government officials accepting and promoting this targeting of Warlock Superman. So, good vibes. I really wish you well. I don't know if I could feel like it but i technically in a spiritual vibe i do wish you protection from the karma that's gonna come for you and now i think i don't think there's a way out of that it doesn't matter if you stop and that's it but maybe you should continue i don't think so i don't think so but i don't know if it's going to be bigger and more torturous if you keep on putting me down and if i don't make any more videos, obviously, my dear fans. You'll know where I am with the ghosts. I'm going to be ghosting some some of you in a nice way. Some of you maybe in a little uh, mask way. Who's seen the mask? Need I say more? So good vibes. I love you all. Did it have to be so cruel, my life? Did it have to be so much that people enjoy so much making me their target? But then again, you know, when you're stuck in a... People are making you something. It's just like superstars. It's like rock band, uh, movie stars, singers. Sometimes they don't control who, who makes them into those people. So martyrs and victims, they don't choose it. Especially martyrdom. It's not a sign that you're spiritual. It's just a sign that you physically lost the fight against crime and organized manipulative government world governments whether it's a uh, five years ago a hundred years ago a thousand years ago i don't know it's just it's horrible the crime that's going on on this planet and i thought i wanted to compromise out of it and teach people what not to do whether it's the spiritual people not to speak out too fast too too much get too much attention like that nice gentleman if you see my ambulance video he goes no 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 you don't want to get them pissed ah uh, i should have listened right I would see people, you're always in time. Just like I'm telling you, police, you're always in time to make your karma much less painful. Will there be karma? I feel that there will. Do I have proof? No, I don't. Not 100%. Not analytical proof. But there is analytical proof that psychic powers exist. So you should maybe be a bit concerned whether you should continue this kind of procedure. It's up to you. It's up to you. It's a song from Boss. You could do what you like. Come on, let us give your mind a ride. Ooh! But uh, whatever. <laughs> you can do what you like. Come on, let us give your mind a ride. I don't know if that was more than a feeling. Yeah, Boston was a cool man. They had uh, their uh, legal problems. I heard a bit about <laughs> Everybody does, but... So let's keep on rocking... I'm just going to go rest again some more, some more. Would you like some more?